Going to need a stronger bow. I wish this pain wasn't so familiar. Like looking an old enemy in the eye. It wants to take me down. It wants me to just lie down and die. But I won't. I can't. There's something here. There must be, or Trinity wouldn't be in this snowy hell. I just hope that Jonah is okay. That he found a way back. I... I just couldn't risk having him with me. Not again. The pain of losing him, that would be too much to bear. This is my path, and mine alone. I have learned all I can from the carnage inside the Prophet's tomb. My brothers were slain to the last man sometime within the last few days. The false prophet's followers died here by the hundreds, but in the end, they were victorious. I have sealed the tomb as best I can and told the men of the nearby village that the prophet is at last dead. I left them with a the subtle threat that this place should remain hidden. I do not know if the prophet survived, but I will follow their trail. No one escapes the order of Trinity. Mongolian. For a year I have ridden with an army of Mongols, as envoy from the Order of Trinity. The Khan is a great warlord, despite his heathen ways. Under my influence, I have helped them topple nations, burn cities and kill princes, all in search of the Prophet. Our slaughter of the Rus was not in vain, for among the spoils we at last found the map. And now, this very morning, after a season in the mountains, we saw buildings rising from a green valley surrounded by ice. We have found Kitesh. I tell the Khan of the riches that will be his, and that alone drives him on. But the real victory will be for God, when we purge the Prophet's lies from the earth, and at last, the Divine Source will be ours. Trinity, they're here. Command, do you copy? Oh, shit! Oh, shit. What the hell was that? We have told the people of the Valley City that we will attack at dawn, but we shall advance behind the Karash at moonrise. The captives we kept from the battles in the west will be our shields as we advance. Few survived the long march across the mountains, but those that live will serve their purpose to the Horde. The city sparkles, 
a gift not yet given. We will take what is ours and march home with our spoils. The Prophet and his followers have been traveling under cover of night, a crooked trail around the border of the Eastern Empire. I do not know where they are headed, and I suspect they do not either. But they know we will not let them rest until this heresy is purged. The common folk of the Borderlands give him shelter, and I find it curious that none who have aided him will tell me anything of use. Even when I threaten them with the wrath of Trinity or touch the edge of a knife to their throats, they stay silent. They die, never betraying what they know. The Prophet has a curious sway over people. All the more reason he must be silenced. Most of the writing is in praise of a military victory, but it looks like they left something nearby. I see. But it's faster this way, Dad. Come here, you little monkey. Are you going on another adventure? Yes. My greatest one yet. Well, I've decided that I should be your assistant. Oh, have you? Well, there's no one I'd rather have by my side. But this business, it's too... 
too dangerous. Laura, listen to me. Someday, you're going to make such a mark on this world. You're going to make me so proud. Give me a moment, darling. I need to take this. Got to bind this wound. Those leashes done the bleeding. Need some kind of bandage. Mushrooms. They're death caps. I should be able to make a poison. Might be able to make something with all this. Should head back to camp and try. Listen to me. This discovery is too important. I don't give a damn about my reputation. Don't you dare threaten me. After everything I've done? Hello? Hello? Dad, what's happening? They're fools! You're scaring me. I'm close, Lara. 
close to something important. Someday, you'll understand. I don't want to understand. I just want you to stop. Be my dad again. down. Report in. What's the situation? Over. We found another camp up here. Fire was still warm. They can't be far. Over. Comms are still spotty, so stay in close. We need to find them before they can organize another raid. Command, we're fanning out to pick up the trail. Roger that, but it looks like they've retreated. Primary objective is to find the missing serp. outside the ruins. Then they retreated away from the facility. This was a coordinated feint. They're trying to spread us out. Until we fuck this up, these aren't peasants. Yeah, these are guerrilla tactics. They knew they went straight for the comms array as soon as we showed up. Shit. We're gonna need counterinsurgency protocols. It'll blow the timetable. Constantine's not gonna like this, but it's better than getting picked off in the dark.
Search the area. Checking the bushes. Contact! Got it! on the first flight to Siberia to secure the old Soviet installation now. More arriving every minute. Konstantin gave a speech to the new boots, and I stayed in the back to watch. Love hearing him speak. Never gets old. I was never much for believing, but it was just words before this is something more. It's truth. I was broken once. But Trinity is making us whole again, giving, giving us a purpose. A new world awaits. Even those who don't believe will have a part to play. to draw it out.
The fugitive prophet has crossed out of the Empire and now turns north. I'm now in unfamiliar territory. The Order of Trinity was clear. I am to pursue the false prophet and his adherents to the ends of the earth and wash away his heresy. But I believed I could overtake him months ago. Still, he eludes me. He crosses Khazar land and across the Caucasus mountains. Here, I'm at a disadvantage. I speak a dozen tongues of the Empire, but in the hinterlands, I'm often left to communicate with little more than a sword. The Prophet, it seems, speaks every language, as if he were born to them. An arrowhead carved from bone. This looks like Mongol craftsmanship. This was a whistling arrow. Mongol archers would fire these over their enemies to frighten and confuse them. A sort of passport. Whoever held this spoke with the authority of the Mongol Empire. It reads, By the power of eternal heaven and order of the Empire, whoever does not show respect will be guilty of an offense. Byzantine war galley. How the hell did it get down here? <clears throat> hmm. It's Mongolian. They passed through here. I must be close to the lost city.
The Maria Adula is trapped. The ice gave way. Her spine snapped in two. No matter. While I hope to wield her cannons against the false prophet, we will continue on foot. I have six of the Order of Trinity's best, and we have been stockpiling food and supplies while the sailors starved. They do not know it yet, but they will give their life for the cause. My men and I will find our way out of these icy caves and continue on foot. Before the ship was swallowed by the ice to the south, we heard music. That will be our first stop. But first I must rest. The cold has sunk into my bones, and I am drowsy. Just a little sleep. Find out what's up there. much wealth with them. archery techniques of the foes of the Byzantine Empire.
it's done. We'll die here, thanks to Coraldus and the madness of the Order of Trinity. My ship will never see water again. We entered the glacial sea too far into the winter. Would have been turned back, but Coraldus would not abandon this lost prophet. He and his dead-eyed warriors seized control. He forced the ship through shallow tributaries until we could go no further. Then he made my crew construct sled runners, and the bastard forced us to tow the ship over land. It was death and excommunication to deny him. But it was death either way. I will make sure he dies here, with us. I've always kept a little poison at the ready in case the ship was taken. Now, it has another use. Byzantine brooch. The enamel work is beautiful. This portrait has been defaced. It looks like it was depicting the prophet. They must have had to hide their faith. through the lands of the Rus. I cannot shake the feeling that he's taunting me, waiting until I'm a day's ride away before moving on. I will not be home before the winter, as I hoped. I've stopped at a small village by a glassy lake they called Svetloyar. The prophet spoke here, and now the villagers refuse me lodging. I slept on the banks of the lake, where a young man bearing a crude version prophet's icon tried to kill me as I dozed. I made an example of him, and now the people fix me with the evil eye, spit at me as I pass. I must move on soon. His sickness spreads. enemy. That remains to be seen. You killed those men back there. I killed them to survive. I suspect you did too. How long have they been here? Days, at most. The invaders took many of my people prisoner. You should leave this place before it's too late. I can't do that. I came here for something important. So did they. If I see you again, I'll put an arrow in your throat. You and I are on the same side. I hope I can prove that to you. What's going on down there?
So, there are people who live out here, and they appear to have been here for a very long time, living in isolation for decades, maybe even centuries. I notice elements of her dress, small adornments that would not have been out of place in the Byzantine Empire. Could they possibly be descendants of the Prophet's people? How much do they know about the lost city or the divine source? It's clear Trinity will do anything to find out. I'm afraid that whoever they are, they're in grave danger. Let's hope the old proverb about the enemy of my enemy remains true. Thank <laughs> you.